What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Vitamin P Fitness. I appreciate all the uh, watchers and listeners out there. So this is technically the answer portion to our question of the week, but we're gonna make a little change moving forward. We're still gonna pose a question in the beginning of the week, and we're still gonna have a wrap up at the end of the week. But because the answers for everybody are so broad, it's very hard to get specific with your your wants and needs. Uh, what we're going to look to do in the future is have a guest on, whether you call in or you're here with me in person, and we'll talk about your specific wants and needs for the question of the week. So I'm really excited for that. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're gonna change this to our accountability check. So I'm gonna pose a question in the beginning of the week, and then at the end of the week, we are going to go through it, how I attack that challenge on a weekly and daily basis, and best practices for you guys to overcome those hurdles and obstacles. So this week's question that we posed was, what would you do with an extra five hours each week? And like everything else, it's important before we start asking, answering the question to ask why are we even asking that question? Well, because a huge obstacle that I encounter when we're going through a consultation or someone is inquiring about how to get better, whether it's fitness, nutrition, lifestyle, it's always time. Time always makes the list of, well, I don't have enough time. So if you had an extra five hours a week, that would be pretty powerful. How can you do that? So the low hanging fruit that I'm just, you don't even have to worry about. I'm not going to tell you to go look on your phone and look at your screen time on Facebook and social media. Even though that is important to know those numbers, I don't think for a lot of us, especially if we're still in quarantine, I know we're starting to open up, but if you're still at the house by yourself, I still think it's a, you're, you're getting a lot of social engagement through, through Facebook. And if you're running a business or doing anything on the side, there needs to be engagement on your part. So everyone tends to point you towards stay off social media, stay off social media. And I'm not saying take the whole day and just do the endless scroll through Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. But if that's part of your work day, uh, just have that scheduled in. And that takes us to the main thing that I wanted to talk about. If you aren't planning your day, every single day, you're probably gonna set yourself up for failure. So usually we know when we're going to work, so what does that mean? You're gonna grab something quick to eat, maybe. You know what time you should be out the door, get to work, leave. If you're working from home, you know what time roughly you wanna be in front of your computer, but they're all rough numbers. So the challenge that I wanna lay out for you that is gonna be huge, where it's gonna be really easy to find those five hours every week is write down every single day, the night before at least. And this is not the first time that this has been the solution to our question, our accountability check question. So write down exactly what the next day looks like. And I'm not just saying work from this time to this time and then we'll try and work out. Write down, wake up, eat, work out, work, what you're gonna do at work in your time. So if you have projects and things that you need to get done, pencil each, each one in for a specific amount of time. Pencil in your commute, write in your time with your family, dinner, reading, write in your planning time, even though that seems redundant, it's important, and write in when you're gonna go to sleep. And when it's written down, does a lot of things. First of all, you're gonna hold yourself hugely accountable to the piece of paper or your phone, wherever you're, wherever you're scheduling your, your work. And it helps you just to get organized. So if we're just going loosey goosey and you have to, you know, like, yeah, I'm gonna try and work out tomorrow morning. As soon as that alarm goes off, if it's not on paper and there's no one holding you accountable or nothing holding you accountable, if you're really tired or you had a long night, you're probably gonna skip that workout. And just, I've know, I'm knowing from 10 years of experience in this industry that that alarm clock wins a lot of times. And it's because we haven't committed fully to that early morning workout. So, my challenge for everybody, just write down your day, plan your days. So my day usually looks pretty pretty uh, similar. Admittedly, I get lax on the weekends, but Sunday night, I'm gonna sit down in front of my, with my planner, that's always right next to me, and I'm gonna write down what Monday looks like. So Monday will look like 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., I'm gonna work out. 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., I'm gonna coach my first class. 8 a.m. to 8.20 p.m., or 8 p.m., 8 a.m. to 8.20, I'm gonna clean the gym floor after the class wraps up. 
at 8.30. I'm going to reconcile attendance. I'm going to email anyone that was not in classes. And then I'm going to chill for five to 10 minutes before the class starts. And that chill is literally written in the planner. Chill for five to 10 minutes before class starts. 9 a.m. we have a class. 10 to 10.20 I clean. 10.30, that's where the, the day will shift depending on what it is. Uh, and I haven't sat down to plan Monday yet. But I'll make sure that I start jumping into my projects by 10.30 on those days. Obviously, if I'm working with clients or if I have a consultation, uh, those are all on my schedule automatically. But even when I get an appointment digitally, I'm a, I'm a big fan of pen and paper because I am hugely accountable to that pen and paper. And that's it. I plan every single day the same. I plan in when I'm going to leave the, leave the gym or when I'm going to get off in front of my computer, even though I'm not great at that part. I tend to uh, tend to linger a little bit longer than I should, but I plan the time I'm gonna spend with my family. Um, and that's really it. So keep it simple. Don't wish you had more time. Just make more time for the things that you wanna do. If every single day you're like, man, I didn't do any reading or you wanted to do more of X, Y, and Z, schedule it so you can do those things. And that's it, keep it simple. Uh, I'm really pumped for the question next week. And just so we're always up on the same page, we're continuing to add new content. So we're gonna pose the question next week, which is gonna be about fasting and nutrition. So we're gonna get pretty specific with that. And on Monday, we're gonna have a little motivational piece, uh, kind of. It's uh, Move the Needle Monday. And we're gonna talk about that. I'll have the first video up for you guys Monday. But keep asking, uh, Keep asking those questions and uh, I appreciate all the feedback that we're getting and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Peace.